Hi. Oh, are you saying hi? Hi. Say hi, hi. 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 Oh. Hi. No. No? Let's see. Oh, okay. We got to leave it like this. Hi, guys. Dr. Pryant said here. And tonight we're talking about uh, medicine and kids and family and balancing everything. You want to be on the screen? Uh, or, or no? Yeah, on the screen. On the screen. Yeah. So uh, tonight we're talking about kids and family and stuff. So I thought I'd have my kid here. Um, I'm watching him right now. I got home early from work. And we're hanging out. And so just quickly, uh, I want to talk about how it's like to have uh, a family and have kids and uh, go into medicine. And it definitely is difficult to do, I would say 100%. But I think everything Daddy? about medicine, yes. No. You want you want the pirates? A bit. Yo ho. Oh yo. Yeah. Um, so everything about medicine is difficult. D. D. No, you, you gotta do it this way, bud. Like that. You see that? D. Yeah. D. Yeah. D. Yeah. D. We're gonna we're gonna D. watch we're gonna watch pirates. Can you say hi? Hi. 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 Okay. Hi. So real quick. <laughs> okay. Here, drink your water. Um. So with uh, kids and medicine, it's very, very difficult um, no, as all parts no. of medicine are difficult. But no, I think D. what it comes down to D. is getting very efficient D. with your time. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we'll do yo ho in a second. Uh, it's getting really no. efficient with your time. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Here. No. It is getting really efficient with your time. And really figuring out what no. you need to do no. to get your work done. No. Um, in terms for me, I got my kid. He's young. I got my wife. And the way I balance it is I just literally make sure I slot in enough time for everything. And you're not going to have the perfect balance when you have a family and you have medicine because it's hard to balance yourself if you're just in medicine. And so with a whole family, you can imagine there's days... I mean, there's sometimes where I go two, three, four days without seeing him because I'm on call, I get home late, I leave early, yeah. our schedules are off. And so you kind of have to really build a support system around yourself if you're going to do it. And so there's a lot of people who enter medical school with kids and even at Stanford where I was at, plenty of people did it. I know plenty of people that I mentor who go into medical school with kids. I know people who are in medical school and have kids. I know people who are in residency and have kids. And you could absolutely do it. But what you have to do is you have to have a absolutely amazing support structure around you. And without that, it really is just about impossible to do it. But if you can put people around you in terms of a supportive spouse, um, so I would definitely make sure if you're going to have a kid that you have somebody that's going to stick with you through how difficult medical school is going to be. What? Oh, is it stuck? Here. No. No? No. Okay. So... Um, you have to have someone who's going to be there and who's going to understand that your time is restricted and who's going to respect that you're not going to be much help. And so for me, I couldn't do it without my wife who is literally a single parent and I just kind of fill in like a shadow figure when I can. But that's what you have to find. You have to find a spouse like that. And if you don't have a spouse like that, so say you're in a situation where you had a father or you had a mother of your kids and it didn't work out, you can still do it, but you have to have good parental, sibling family, friends, church, whatever your community is that can support you because you're going to need childcare all the time. So you're going to have to have some way to have your kid watched. I think it's impractical and unrealistic if you think that you're going to just charge through medical school, charge through residency, and oh, I'm going to watch my kid and do everything I need to do to be a doctor. It's not realistic. And so you have to put in place a plan like you do for everything, right? Prepare for what you need to do to be successful. If you have a kid, okay, here, take some. Here. If you're going to have a kid, you got to be successful and plan for it. And yes, it is really hard. I agree, Cali kid. But you got to really, really, really plan for it. So child care, having people that are there not only like to support you in terms of your kids um, and watching the kid, but sometimes you need support. So you need people that are going to be there for you because you guys know, if you guys are parents, oh, yeah. it's not all happy times and oh, all kind yeah. of great stuff oh, yeah. in a couple minutes, bud. It's tears, it's upsetness, oh, it's I'm hungry, no. it's poopy diapers. Oh, yeah. And so you have to get used to all those things. And so sometimes you just need someone to support you like you're a little kid and let you cry it out. No. 
And so, uh, yeah, I will be taking questions today. Um, but that's the key is just having a plan for it. But you definitely need support. And you need to understand that you're going to miss a lot of stuff. Uh, for example, I got a kid coming soon, a second kid on the way. And I actually can't get time off um, to be there with the new kid uh, for the first couple of weeks. I got to work. So it's just how it is. You sign up to be a physician, you sign up. But. All right, we're going to do Yoho. Watch uh, some Pirates of the Caribbean. I know, bud. Um, and then I'll be back on to seriously answer this question. But that's uh, the crux it is. <laughs> uh, so Casey, you didn't miss this. I'll come back. We'll do a video in about an hour. And we'll do a real little video. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Can you say Yoho? Oh, yo. Can you say Oompa Loompa? Oompa. Oompa Loompa. D no, you can't pick a video from there, but this is this is a, a live video. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll come back to you guys in like an hour. We'll do a, a real video. <laughs> All right. Kids in medicine, it is possible.